So who's who's Elizabeth? Six, seven years that Elizabeth and I have known each other. How long's it been, Elizabeth? Technically competitors. Uh, we don't view it that way. We view ourselves as colleagues in the industry. Um, she's involved in everything. It seems like every time I talk to her, she's Spanish chambers, the, the battleground community, home shows, or workforce development. It just seems like Elizabeth is in everything in the community. We've been able to share our faith with one another. We've been able to share uh, our desire to, to improve the lives of our people in our community. Elizabeth is always driving to work on what she feels is ethically right. She fights for what she believes in. I, I've got a ton of respect for Elizabeth. I think that she does amazing things and is an amazing woman. It's, it's amazing to see how gracious and humble she can be. And at the same time, she doesn't take anybody's crap. When it's time to put the hammer down, Elizabeth can put the hammer down. You can tell that there's a passion for what she's doing and that she really cares about the community that she's serving. You know, women-owned business is a huge factor. Being in the construction industry, she just charges ahead and takes control. Um, through the years that she was chair of the remodelers of Clark County, um, through her leadership on the BIA board, definitely a community leader. She's an industry leader that we all look up to. Through the years, Elizabeth has been involved with a lot of things industry-wise. Negotiations with the county on permitting processes, on efficiencies in the county. She's been integral on getting many of the remodel uh, permits changed to allow for expedited uh, process. That's a huge advocacy role in the community to fight for people that otherwise wouldn't have a voice. Congratulations on winning your award. It's well-deserved. I just hope that this doesn't go to her head and make life hard for Roger.